Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Hayes Crude Outside. Glad to see you. Hope all is well. Been a little bit since uh, I've done a video, but, you know, had got a day job. Uh, but it's now beautiful uh, May in Tidewater, Virginia. Getting ready to do some catfish fishing. Just the uh, inaugural video for the new season. Uh, today we're going to be trying chicken flavored with cherry Kool-Aid and then chicken tenders with mist or blue mist kool-aid uh, apparently the bags have sprung a leak and i'm going to have a multicolored kayak before you know it <laughs> but glad to see you again um we're out here at west neck creek it's in virginia beach tidewater virginia it's a mixture of brackish water um you know tidal so we're getting salt and fresh a little bit of everything out here there's catfish there's brim um you know, shell crackers, you name it, it's out here. Lots of snakes, which is, you know, <laughs> depending on who you are, pretty cool. Uh, and just wildlife everywhere. Sometimes I'll see deer up in the bank. Beautiful sight. Um, right now we're at low tide, so it's, um, everything's kind of already come out. And what we're looking for is everyone coming back in. Uh, it's about, I'd say, maybe 30 yards across tops. Uh, it gets down to where it might even be 30 feet across. So everything's kind of really pushed into a, a nice little channel, about six feet deep, seven feet deep at its deepest, down to six inches uh, at its lowest. So it, it you know, you, it really focuses in everything on a, on a little uh, strip there. So I'm gonna put out uh, four buoys with uh, the red chicken and then four buoys with the blue chicken. Oh wow, and, and fish are jumping. I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of carp, uh, shallows there. This is the time of year that they spawn. Uh, might get some nice video on that. Uh, it's fun watching those things just you know, splash all out of the water. <laughs> and there is a few bowfin out here too, so who knows, Maybe we'll see what we get. Uh, but again, please like and subscribe. Good to see you. Uh, looking forward to the new year. And again, we've got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, so please like and subscribe. You know, it's going to be some fun, some interesting stuff. Uh, and we're on, a, as far as for you deer hunters, uh, I've got a line on some monster deer that I saw at the end of uh, hunting season last year. We're going to be tackling that later in the year. But for the next two or three months, we're going to be doing a lot of fishing. Uh, again, like and subscribe. Let's get on it. All right, so I pre-cut the chicken tenders, soaked them in Kool-Aid. They've been in the freezer for a while, and uh, looks like I probably should have defrosted them last night, um, but I didn't, so it is what it is. I'm using a simple circle hook, and chicken tenders are not exactly the firmest bait out there. It's almost like uh, chicken liver but uh, really good for bait. I've used chicken tenders before, so I'm burying the hook in there. I'm using a heavy 20 ounce sinker. Um, catfish kind of have to hook themselves, so I need that extra weight to help them hook. I'm using 30 pound mono, and uh, let's see, yeah, that's the orange. So, 30 pound mono, different size circle hooks. Um, it just, you know, you buy them up over time and you know, I've got a bunch of loose ones hanging out. Um, there we go. I'm gonna keep these kind of close together. There we go. All right. Got another video on my channel on how to make the pool noodles or fishy noodles and again you got to have your name and phone number all that stuff on it uh, depending on where you're fishing all right Let's see. the best basketball player of all time and it's really kind of i've always said you, you can't really define that because everyone has a different um uh, different standard for what is best you know is it stats is it championships is it personality uh, you know what I mean so but the way I look at it I'm saying 
while I think Michael Jordan was more likable and does have more um, championships, look at LeBron James. He's done it on different teams, different coaches, different teammates. Um, and just stats in general were better overall. And he's going to get the – he's got the, the points championship. And I think he's been to more. But in today's game, it's – basketball has become more of a world sport than an American sport. Back when uh, Michael Jordan was playing, there's a lot less people playing the game. Now the uh, Europeans are, are really starting to step up and put some quality players out there. So LeBron's not only won multiple championships with multiple teams, he's, he's now playing against the best in the world, not just the best in America. So that's got to count for something. Very similar to the, what I would consider is Tiger Woods the best golfer of all time. I would have to say, yes, he doesn't have all the championships, but again, it, golf has become more of a world sport and more inclusive too. So he's playing more people so you're not only is he the best in America, he, he's the best in the world. There we go, had a hang up. All right. All right, red on red, blue on orange. We're getting there. And I purposely left all my artificial baits at home because I, I get distracted and I wanna go catch bass. But uh, and there's a lot of bass out here. So I put all my eggs in one basket and we're either catching catfish or we're not catching anything. All right. So you write down in the comments, who do you think is the best basketball player of all time? And what do you think about my argument that in today's game, it's become more of a world game than just, you know, an American game, basketball, golf, whichever. Um, Love to hear your opinion on that. Shoot, I've got two fish on. <laughs> I got two fish on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, this guy's pulling line too. Uh, anchor back, oh! Oh, he popped the line. Uh. All right, let me go get the other one. That one was on fish. This one is on blue, blue mist. Come, oh, whoa, whoa. We got some, he got some ass to him. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so Blue Mist got one so far. All right. You can see hooks right there in the side of the mouth. Don't want them swallowing. All right. You watch out for these barbs. They will stick you and it will hurt. All right. Not a bad looking fish. Go. All right, they have arrived. Look at that, two more. Yeah, we got one on here too. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh, no, but you can see he's been shredding it. Double hook that again, come back around. Oh, yeah, hit. this one's definitely on.
All right. Woo. Not a bad looking fish right there. Whoa, okay, that's what happened. We got another fish here. Well, it's all red, so it's either on fish or uh, cherry. Super shallow right here. Yeah, two feet, two and a half foot. Oh shit, that's a turtle. Mother cone. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. That is not a fish, but I think I can get it. I don't want to hurt them. I don't eat, eat the turtles. I know, I know. Give me a second. There we go. Get out of here. Look at that. Looks almost as big as him. Whoop. Oh man, I'm sorry you missed that. Camera wasn't on. Look at the size of that mama jamba. <laughs> oh. Right there in the mouth, see right there in the corner? That's what we're looking for. Comes right out. Come on, baby. Watch out for them spines. Talk to me. And you're pretty. Pretty fish. Oh, and that was on the cherry. Oh my goodness. Well, that's about it for today, guys and gals. The sun's popped up, the lawn's probably dry, and I've got to cut some grass. Uh, tons of catfish today, a couple different varieties, a couple uh, turtles that we were able to successfully extract the hook from and send back into the wild. And uh, just an awesome day. So again, please like and subscribe. Good to see you. Can't wait till next time. Peace coming out soon. Thank <laughs> you.